Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally filming a makeup look. I feel like I haven't worn makeup in so long because I've been concentrating so much on my press-on nail business. If you haven't heard, I started selling press-on nails. So I hand paint them and this is one of the designs that I actually have on that is up on my Etsy page. You guys can shop them. I hand paint everything on my own. You can see all of the designs. I'm just so happy. I'm so excited for this journey. Of course, I'm not gonna stop doing makeup. I just took a little bit of a break just to, you know, focus on starting this business. I I'm like so thrilled and excited and I can't wait for you guys to get your nails and post them and see them on you. I'm just so, so happy and excited. Did I mention I'm excited? <laughs> but today I'm doing this look and I really, really wanted to use one of these palettes. These palettes, I think have to be some of my favorite BH Cosmetics launches ever. They are dance remix palettes. We have the 2000s, 90s, and the 80s. And when I tell you they chose the perfect shade range for each palette to fit the time period is like insane. They got it so spot on. So let's start with the 80s. Just look at these brights, like such perfect 80s shades. I love it. And the names are all different songs. And then we have the 90s. We still have some of that color left over from the 80s and then bringing in the neutrals and the cool tones. And then we have the early 2000s with all those nice cool tones and purples. I am so excited about these palettes. I need to create a look using each one of them. So I use the 2000s palette today and I'm obsessed with this entire launch. Like go get your hands on it. The shadows are beautiful and so pretty and just so pigmented. So if you wanna stick around to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the BH Remix Dance 2000s palette. The first shadow I'm going into is Hollaback. With my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease. This is going to be my transition shade. I always start with something a little bit lighter, and because I'm doing a smoky eye, I like something that's lighter than the shadow. It's going to help blend everything out nicely, and then I can bring that shadow back at the end to really help buff everything out. I'm now going into Hot in here. And now switching over to my E25, I'm going to start applying this kind of lower down on my crease. First, just applying most of the darkness there, going all the way into the inner part, back and forth, and then I'll start slowly doing little circular motions and blending it up towards that transition shade. Now picking up a little bit more shadow and intensifying that so you can see I start with really little amounts and then build my way up. I like to start just small and then, you know, grow from there <laughs> just because I don't want it apply too much shadow and then it gets super patchy and then I won't be able to blend it out. It's easier just applying in layers and then building up. Now going into the Sigma Wide Shader E59 brush. Look at this size of this brush. It's going to make applying your shadow on your lid for the smoky eye so easy and quick. I'm just tapping that in. Now that that shadow is applied, look at how nice that looks. Just the smoky eye just looks so good. <laughs> I'm going back in with my E25. I didn't pick anything up on this brush. I'm just blending the crease out and then going back into hollow back and applying that at the high point of the crease. This is where I'm bringing back that transition shade to help really buff everything out and make everything really seamless. I also sometimes just take my finger and kind of just wipe on the bottom. I don't want it to be obviously too sharp, but just look at how much nicer that looks and kind of just like lift the eye. Now let's do my lower lash line before I finish off my lid, going in with my Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush and hollow back and applying that all along my lash line. And then with hot in here and my E15 flat definer brush, I like to kind of just wiggle in the shadow really close to my lash line, kind of like that. And then I start going back and forth and sweeping that shadow a little bit lower to really smoke that out. I'm now picking up Teen Dream. Are you ready for this color? Look at how beautiful this is. I am so excited to apply and show you how pretty it looks. So I'm going to start just applying this right on the, look at that, look at that pigment, <laughs> right on the inner part of my lid and I'm stopping it halfway and then just lightly feather that out. And what I'm also doing, I don't know, my hand's going to look huge. <laughs> I'm kind of just tapping that into the inner part of my crease. I kind of like that, just that shimmer kind of blown out on the inner part. It just looks really pretty. And now with my F70 concealer brush, I'm popping this shadow right into the inner part of my lower lash line, just stopping it halfway. Now going into glam, I'm going to highlight my inner corner. Wow, these shadows are so pretty. 
I'm going into the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Demolition. I'm now going to line my upper waterline and then line my lower waterline. I'm going to apply mascara and false lashes and I'm going to the Tati Lashes in TL19. And that's the eye look done. For my lips first, look at how itty bitty this is because I love this lip pencil. I'm going to go into the NYX Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Nude Beige. I really wanted to go in with Nude Truffle, but I can't find it right now. I think my mom might have stole it and is holding on to it. But we're just going to go in with this one. I love this shade too. Those are two of my favorite nude shades in these NYX lip pencils. And then I'm going to lightly fill in my lips with a pencil. Now let's brighten up the center of the lip. I'm going to go into the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo. So I don't know which gloss to do. I'm kind of stuck between these two. This is the Buxom and then the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. These Lifter Glosses are some of my favorite. They are amazing and they feel so incredible on the lips and look amazing. But, you know... A buxom OG lip gloss like this is like you can't go wrong with a buxom lip gloss I have no idea they're both so pretty too okay you know what I think I'm gonna try this one because I don't think I've tried this one yet so let's see if I can open it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so this is the full-on plumping lip polish in Celeste it is so pretty and it has a little bit of sparkle so I feel like it's gonna look really nice and tie in with the eyes so let's apply this And that is it. This is a completed look of my brown and blue smoky eye using the BH2000 Stance Remix Palette. I hope that you enjoyed. I love this palette so much. I love this look. I feel like this is such an easy look. You can do it with any palette, honestly. You just need two to three shadows. You just create a smoky eye and then pop a kind of a shimmery colored shadow into the inner part of your lid. And it just like completely took the look to a next level. It glammed it up a bit and kind of changed it and made it a little bit different than just like, you know, your average smoky eye. I love it. It's so quick and easy to achieve. And I mean, these palettes, Beach can do no wrong for me. I love their palettes so much. They're my favorite palettes, but these are just so exciting and so fun and different and I'm obsessed. So if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I have two Instagram accounts now. So make sure you follow me on both to stay updated and see all the new nails and makeup I have coming out. That'll be listed down below and all the products and brushes that I use will be listed down below for you to find everything easier. And don't forget to check out my press on nails. I'm going to put the link down below so you guys can click and shop and see all the designs. I'm so excited. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy to be back and I'll see you next time. Bye.